so you wanted me to make stuffed chicken and shrimp and here we go right on my table you are going to love this y'all you are going to love this now if you're first and here watching me cooking this recipe for the very first time be sure that you have subscribed be sure to turn on your post notification setting so you will always be reminded whenever I upload a brand new video now you want to see how I make this recipe fast easy and simple in my Jamaican kitchen well come on and let's get started remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from rest the floor I I why you turn your back on your brother when him need you you don't remember the days I'm when him feed you you know when no obligation but you win some respect all you need to do is just give him one to get turn your back on your brother when him need Okay, y'all, we are going to get this stuffed chicken and shrimp on your table. The thing must be, right? Now I have my shrimp here, and you want to have raw shrimp for this recipe. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your shrimp are nice and clean. Clean, clean, clean. You make sure that they are dry, of course. You want to do that, all right? Make sure that you do that. I'm going to skip that at all. No way, at all. No way, no way. Now you're going to add some salt and black pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, and some obey seasoning, all right? So you go ahead and you just drizzle that all over your shrimp for that nice, good up, good up flavor. Mm-hmm, this thing is going to be off the chain. And just kind of get it on both sides, if you know what I mean. Now, right there, I have four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add some garlic to it. I'm using dry garlic. And make that thing come nice and happy, like that. Then you add those good shrimp up in there, up in there, up in there, just like that. And cook this really good with that butter and garlic, just for two minutes. Nothing more than two minutes, because remember, oh Lord, mergaluga lu, mergaluga lie. Mm, the thing look and smell so good so good so good where it's happening in my jamaican kitchen okay y'all good food don't hurt nobody not yet right we're gonna go in with that good cream cheese then we're gonna add some sour cream to it we also gonna add some scallion and some parsley all the way in with some Swiss cheese and some Italian cheese. I'm also adding a half of that shrimp. You wanna make sure that you cut it up before you add it to it. Leave the other half to garnish your chicken, right? Now we're gonna add one tablespoon of bacon bits, half a teaspoon of paprika, and of course, we wanna add some lemon to it to kick it up a crazy kind of notch. And work this baby all up in there, honey. Work it in. And we are good to go. Yes, let's stuff that chicken. Okay, y'all, there goes my chicken breast. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of black pepper to it with some salt, just to give it some flavor. Then you wanna pack that goodness in there, just like that. Make it as full as you want to. It's your kitchen. Here we go guys, I'm all done. Another amazing, tasty and delicious recipe from my kitchen to your kitchen. Now, don't forget to share the love with your friends and your family. Anybody we want to share it with, go ahead and share, they are waiting. Don't be selfish, man. Give this video a thumbs up. And like I said, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy.
I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it done simmer, a time for it eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.